welcome to hidden layers ai this is guru as part of this channel i cover the topics from python open cv machine learning and deep learning i try to upload videos once in a week please subscribe to my channel the hidden layers ai in the last session we discussed about the concepts about blurring and the smoothing functions in this session we are going to talk about the coding part of it import is the open cv library that is cv2 and then we will import the numpy as a part of this session we are going to display one image you that's hair of a lady and then we are going to see how the blurring concepts impacts the hair right so let me show you what the image is first and then we can you know talk about that so this is the file name is here and then we are reading through the im read and then just showing that image using a im show function so this is the image here is uh, with lots of uh, uh, clear strands so we should be able to see what is the impact of the blurring and smoothing effect on this image as i explained in the last session there are four types of blurring i have explained the same concept the same functionality i am going to explain using co first one is a unified blurring model so the function we use is blur itself we have to pass this image and this is the kernel size generally it is given a, a tuple right so this number should be an odd number like 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 7 by 7 like that so this is how the blurring happens we are displaying the same image after um, you know blurring and i am putting the title like a blur and the next one is gaussian blur so in the gaussian blur again we are giving the same same size kernel for now let us uh, you know ignore this uh, zero so basically displaying a uh, processing a gaussian blur is using this gaussian blur function if you have observed in the median blur it takes by a 7 by 7 or whatever the kernel size is there it will pick up all the points within that and then it will find out the median of those things in terms of intensity and that will be replaced so that's how we are going to use in this this is a median blur bilateral blur it varies by two things one is uh, by space and by color intensity differences so here the function is bilateral functions you pass this image and we are giving that kernel size this and uh, this is a two values that we need to adjust in such a way that bilateral filter works uh, this is the first one is uh, more on the you know sigma of uh, space and this is sigma of intensity let's run and see these things okay let me put in an order now they are in the order let's see the uh, how the blurring impacts the image so here we have original this is the blur with 7 by 7 you can see that it is uniformly blurred in the Gaussian we see that you know, the kernel is generally at the center it will be more values and when it goes from the center to the outer side the values are decreasing so because of that wherever there is a a sharp images or the colors are there those things remind more compared to the blur you can see the differences for example it is here you can see this pretty much unified now a blurred whereas it still retain this value so large extents compared to this median blur generally removes the salt and pepper uh, uh, noise and uh, this image does not have so much of salt and pepper so we'll have to explain that in a new session and uh, bilateral this is uh, 
it is uh, both sides it is using both color as well as the intensity difference you can see that it is uh, kept the edges as much as possible still doing the blurring of it so far we have been seeing that filters defining the values all positives but it is also possible to have a negative values the filter is defined 3 by 3 here all values minus 1 except the center one center one will put 9 if you sum it up all these numbers you will get one that means this particular kernel is standardized as well so you can use this one and using a custom filter filter 2d and uh, see get the image right and this is how actually we can do sharpening this specific kernel you know can, you can assume that it is a sharpening kernel so let me run it so here is a original image sharpening image is this you can observe that wherever there is a white color is there that particular color is brightened more because We are multiplying by that particular pixel by 9 times and then also surrounding numbers we are decreasing it. Means we are subtracting it for that things. So that means that particular piece if there is a highlight is there it will highlight much more. That is what actually happening here. So white color here it is becoming a much brighter white color. Same thing here ears and all that. So this particular operation is called sharpening. So this is the concept behind the blurring and sharpening is the same. Basically you are having a kernel and you are doing a convolution of that kernel across the image. So we have covered blurring and sharpening in this uh, sessions. If you have any questions on these sessions, please put your comments in the comment box. I want to thank you. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel.